In this video, we're gonna be covering install tips and resetting the shift knob button. If you order a new shift knob, it's going to come with the button in the install position locked in place, as well as a locking pin, making it so that you cannot accidentally hit the button on the shift knob before installing. These shift knobs have to be installed with the button in the locked position. Here's an open one where the button's been depressed to give a little bit better view of what's going on inside. So your button pushes on this little pivot inside the knob right here. This finger hooks into the shift tower on the car and when it's hooked and properly engaged, that's what pushes the button back into position. If this is pushed with the knob not on the shift tower or if it's not fully seated and this finger doesn't go through the shift tower, what's gonna happen is the button's going to get stuck in the depressed position. This isn't a problem, this can be easily fixed, but there are some precautions to take when resetting the button. The first thing is this trigger on a working model has springs connecting from the button to the inside of the shift knob. To reset it requires pulling this button up to gain access to the finger that's in here to lock it back into position. This one I can pull wide open. If you do this on a knob with the springs, still attached like this one, you will damage the shift knob and ruin the springs and essentially ruin the knob by stretching these springs or breaking the springs by over stretching them. Now to reset it is really simple. On the cutaway one, we can see here, this little finger is unlocked. We need to snap it back into the locked position. The first thing to do when doing this is note the orientation of the shift knob. You don't want to be holding the knob upside down or sideways. You want to be holding it vertical. This will put the finger in the best position for access to it. Um, then what you're going to do is with the, knob, with the button pulled back, you're going to get a small flat blade screwdriver and you're just going to pry on this finger to lock it into position. Just as simple as that. So now I'll show you on a knob that's functioning how it's done. So as you can see, we have the pin in, can't be pressed. If you pull the pin out, it's now ready to install. If you push the button, it's now stuck in. You can't install the knob in this position. So with the springs, it's going to be hard to pull this button out. You can use some tape to help get some grip onto it to pull it open. But again, keep in mind you have springs in here. You do not want to pull too far as you will damage the springs. You just want enough access to get your tool in there. I also like to get another piece of tape to put on the bottom side of the button so that we don't scratch the knob with our tool when we're doing this. This is as much access as you will need to reset the trigger. I like to use a piece of tape on the bottom where we're going to be prying so that we don't damage the knob. So all we're going to do is get the knob vertical, insert my screwdriver, and then gently pry forward. And you just heard it click into place, remove our tape, 